In this lesson, Rotating Three-Dimensional Objects, we'll show you how to take a three-dimensional object and rotate it in different directions. First, we'll take an object and rotate it around the y-axis. Rotating an object around the y-axis is called a horizontal rotation. We'll rotate this object 90 degrees horizontally. That will mean that instead of facing to the right, it'll now face towards you. We'll do another 90 degree rotation, making a complete 180 degree horizontal rotation from our original position. So now the object is facing left. We will now take the same object and rotate it vertically around the X axis. We'll start with a 90 degree vertical rotation towards you. So the top part of the object will now appear as the front part of the object. We'll do another 90 degree rotation, making a full 180 degree vertical rotation towards you. The top part of the object is now the bottom part of the object. We can also do rotations around what is known as the z-axis when we're doing three-dimensional graphing. The z-axis would be an axis that would go into and come out of this screen. We'll call this a vertical rotation as well, but this time we'll say we're rotating it left or right. So we'll start with a 90 degree rotation towards the left. The right side of the object will now appear to be the top of the object. Another 90 degree rotation to the left makes a full 180 degree rotation. The object that was pointed right is now pointed left and is upside down. Let's try an example. Let's take the following object, rotate it 90 degrees horizontally to the right, and then 90 degrees vertically forward. First, we'll start with our 90 degree horizontal rotation. So the object, instead of pointing towards you, is now pointing toward the right. Next, we'll do a 90 degree vertical rotation towards you. So that will mean the top of the object will now be pointing towards you. You need to be specific in your instructions when you're doing rotations of three-dimensional objects.